Alright, hey, what's going on guys? Back to another video. This time you guys are watching some really, really old gameplay actually. I probably got this like probably six to seven months ago. I don't know. I haven't played COD Ghost in a really long time because if you've watched any of my um, videos uh, touching on the subject, you know, you can tell that I really didn't like Call of Duty Ghost along with a lot of other, peop other people. But anyways, um, I know I haven't been uploading in the past couple days. I think my last upload was like on a Friday or something and it's Sunday. So, you know, I kind of wanted to get a video up for you guys. And I've kind of been lazy, you know, um, just thinking of like new video ideas. And I'm not sure how um, what I want to do with the uh, daily upload schedule because, you know, I, I think I'd much rather have uh, better quality videos, you know, like maybe every other day possibly, um, you know, rather than just like tossing out a video just because I know I have to keep up with that daily upload schedule. So, you know, I think that's kind of what I'm going to do. Uh, today's a Sunday, so, you know, you might see a video tomorrow, you might not, so, you know, it all depends. But anyways, what I want to talk about today was Call of Duty Ghosts, or Call of Duty, I guess, because, you know, it's been a while since I played Call of Duty. It's been a while since I've kind of talked about Call of Duty. I know I do, like, custom zombies and stuff, but... I don't know, that's really like the only form of Call of Duty I've really been playing lately. Um, and most of that is Call of Duty Ghosts, of course. So, as you can see by the title, this is kind of like almost my final review of the game because, uh, like I said, I really don't like doing uh, reviews of games and stuff, you know, if, um, you know, like when like they're out in like the first week. Because I feel like you have to play a game for a while to like kind of understand it and stuff. But, uh, you know, so the weird thing about Call of Duty Ghosts is that typically, you know, if you've, uh, I guess... Um, if you're familiar with the uh, Call of Duty uh, kind of life cycle, you know, basically how it works is every November everyone gets hyped up, plays the new game, and they, you know, typically play that game on and off until the next Call of Duty comes out. You know, that happened with MW3, uh, happened with Black Ops 2. But the weird thing about Call of Duty Ghosts, you know, I mean, I know people obviously still play it. I'm not saying, like, you know, there's, like, zero players online or anything. But, you know, there's definitely significantly less players and significantly less people who have enjoyed the game through its entire life cycle. You know, the first month or so, you know, a lot of people were playing it. A lot of people were excited and stuff. But I feel like after that, a lot of people actually went back to Black Ops 2. And I'm seeing that now, you know, like... Um, you know, you go on any, uh, you know, you go on Black Ops 2, you know, at any given night, and you go on, you know, Call of Duty Ghost at any given night, I can guarantee you, you know, there are going to be more players on Black Ops 2. And, you know, that's just because, I don't know, I mean, I feel like Black Ops 2 is a really good game. Um, I didn't really give it enough credit, I feel. Um, but after comparing it to Ghost, you know, I feel like it was really good. But, you know, this is a review. So, you know, what did I not like about this game, I guess? And what did a lot of people not like about this game? Well, I don't know. First off is... Um, you know, I feel like it, it was kind of, like, bland, you know, meaning, um, you know, something, all, like, so great about Call of Duty is that, you know, like, even though, um, or I guess one of its major flaws is that it's very similar every single game, and a lot of games are like that, but, you know, you can't really criticize it because, you know, I don't really care if it's, like, kind of similar or the same kind of deal if it's fun to play, but the problem with Call of Duty Ghosts is that, like, they made... That, that formula that they had going, you know, every single Call of Duty kind of has a formula, and if it works together, it's great, and if it doesn't, it, you know, just, it doesn't work, but, um, you know, I guess that's just kind of what I'm saying, you know, with Call of Duty Ghosts, you know, the maps, I feel like we're way too big, like, way too big, um, map I'm playing on right now, Warhawk, and I don't know what I'm doing in the menu, I don't know, but, um, on the map Warhawk, uh, that's actually probably one of the smaller maps, and it's still ginormous if you were to compare it from any other map. But you know, I feel like that's not a part, you know, a full part of it. Um, you know, and another thing was kind of the weapons, because I feel like the weapons were all kind of like, um, I don't know, we're all kind of bland, nothing really special going on. And the, uh, I guess the player movement, that was probably the biggest thing for me, is that you move so slow for maps to be so big, and I oh, just got killed right there. But um, you know, and, like, you, even though, you know, you could put on, like, the perks that make you run faster and stuff, I feel like, you know, the time it took to aim down sights, the time to run around the map and stuff, it, it, it feels really, like, um, really clunky compared to other Call of Duties. And, like, I feel like one big, uh, I guess, um, perk of Call of Duty, you know, one, one great thing about Call of Duty that other shooters really lack, and I mean really lack, is the fluidity. You know, I played other first-person shooters that even though they might have better graphics or they might have, you know, cooler weapons or whatever, you know, like, it, it just, it feels so um, clunky that it's just, you know, not fun to play. And I feel like that's what this game was. You know, Black Ops 2 was great. You know, you could jump shot, do all this cool stuff, and it was set in the future, so it made things interesting. So they could, like, have a bunch of new weapons. And I'm hoping that's what Advanced Warfare will be like, you know, like, cross your fingers. But um, we're about nine days from le nine day yeah nine days from release eight days if you're doing the pre-order stuff but i don't think i'm going to pre-order it just because um you know 
I don't know about you guys, but I, I don't feel like it would be that special or that – I don't feel like that it's that important, you know, in the big scheme of things to get it a day early. Like, yeah, great. Wo- woohoo. You can get it a day early and, like, you know, level up or whatever um, and try out the new weapons and stuff. But, you know, in the big scheme of things, you know, it's really not that special. Because think of how many days you're going to have to have to play the new game. I mean, that one day is just, you know, a small fraction of that time. So, uh, you know, those are just my thoughts, though. You know, I really didn't like Ghost, and, you know, there were some good things about it. Um, one thing is that they brought back Infected. I love playing that game mode. Um, that's why you guys are watching that, because that's mostly what I did. You know, it was just a very casual game type where I could get a good frame rate on there. But anyways, um, yeah, we'll see how uh, Advanced Warfare turns out. It can't possibly be worse than Ghost. I, don't, I, I really don't see how that could happen. But, um, you know, uh, it's it's looking pretty promising, but, you know, we'll see. Um, like I said, you know, I'll try to get that every other day. Uh, going for you guys but anyways hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please leave a like uh, i really appreciate it and subscribe if you're new to the channel so i uh, expect more videos soon uh, advanced warfare coming up uh, borderlands probably the next couple days but anyways hope you guys enjoyed uh, please leave a like and i'll see you guys in the next one